So one of the major things that we do every spring as soon as we get into the fields with the tractor is this cool thing called subsoiling. And we've talked about and posted pictures in the past, but I want to give a little different perspective and angle this year of, you know, really what's going on there. We always start with the implement, uh, but I really want to go out into the field and explain what is going on as well. So yeah, so in a nutshell, subsoiling is what it really means is you're, you're, you're basically making a trench beneath the, the surface of the soil, subsurface, um, so subsoiling. And what you're doing is you're bake, breaking up the compaction from the year, the year before, whether it was from tilling, plowing, running over it with the tractor, whether you're harvesting, you name it. Um, a lot of the things we do, especially in conventional tillage, is really detrimental to the soil, unfortunately. Um, that's why here at Bardwell Farm, we're really trying to transition some things over to more limited till, no-till, uh, where we can start building that soil structure and having a better microbial activity underneath our soil for our plants to grow, and in return, hopefully less compaction down the road. But right now, while we are still trying to transition and there are still crops that we are not able to grow, no till or limited till, uh, we look to subsoiling to help break up the compaction in the soil. And why are we doing this? Why are we breaking up the compaction? Uh, essentially, so water, nutrients can flow down instead of through the soil or over the top of the soil and create erosion, uh, which we don't want, uh, create runoff of nutrients that we don't want. So by going down about a foot to 15 inches of breaking up that compacted layer below your plow, plow pan, it's called, pretty much where your, your moldboard plows come through and flip the soil creates a really compacted surface where water cannot flow through. So coming through with a subsoiler really helps break that up to allow water, nutrients, and everything to flow down instead of flow to the side, I guess, or flow on the surface more uh, and it helps with a lot of different things so it's one activity we do early in the season to help mitigate our soil and better prevent you know like I said runoff or erosion runoff or erosion um, throughout the rest of our season so I'm gonna show you the implement quick and then we're gonna go out to the field so you can kind of see what it looks like and I'll talk a little bit more about it there so here on the farm because we only have about a 55 horse tractor, we're only able to pull a one shank subsoiler. This isn't ideal because uh, you would really want subsoilers to be under both tires. That way, that's where you're creating all your compaction. And then one in the middle would be ideal as well. Uh, so a three to five shank subsoiler would be most beneficial, but with the equipment we have available to us right now, this is what we use. So. This is the subsoiler right here. It's a three point hitch mounted system. And you can see down here, this is the shank that goes into the ground. And you can kind of see the wear marks here of where it's really been into the soil. And from about the tip up to here, we're about probably 20 inches or so. And depending on the compaction of the field, depending on the soil structure, uh, that'll determine how deep this goes. But Essentially, the deeper, the better, the more uh, strip we can get below the soil uh, will help break up that compaction farther and farther into the ground. It's a low and slow process, especially with this tractor, but it is essential. So let's go out to the field where I can show you kind of how that works and what it looks like. So when we're out subsoiling, it's a process that's pretty much back and forth in the field. And how this works is you want to go kind of across the grain, if you will, but across uh, a different path of how you would usually till the field, plow the field, plant the field, you name it. Um, and what you're doing is by going on an angle like that, which I'll show you in a minute, you are essentially breaking up the compaction across the field instead of through the field. And what's that, what, what that is going to allow it to do is break up that compaction throughout the field where if you're just going straight in line like where you plowed or where you planted you know you might only be compat or you might only be uh subsoil in the areas of like 
where you plant and missing completely where your tire tracks always fall. So we slightly go on an angle throughout the field uh, to help break up all those layers throughout. So you'll see a lot of farms go on like a 45 angle, really depending as long as you're on an angle, a uh, different direction of how you actually plow or plant, you're gonna be doing a pretty good job anyways. I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you a quick idea of uh, what subsoiling looks like. I just started a field out back here, which will give you a good example of what we're doing. So we're out here by the farm, uh, out back by the farm in Bardwell Field 1. Um, and I just started subsoiling this path in front of me. Uh, I have some stuff on the edge of the field I have to move before we can keep going. But I just was testing out water, seeing how wet it was yesterday and if we could really get going. But if you look in our field right here, this is cover crops slowly starting to grow up. If you look kind of in the roadways, you can see how there's a straight line right here. If I go over here, there's another straight line right here. So these are where we had beds last year. This is also the way we tilled in uh, the crop residue from last year and incorporated our cover crop seed. So our field goes this way, east to west. If you come over here, I'm still standing straight. The edge of our field is over here straight in front of me is the drive row or the direction of how we would plant if you look at this picture you can see that i am subsoiling on an angle like this so we plant like this and we subsoil like this and so what's happening is we're getting that you know that cross direction through the field as we subsoil and all this is is a furrow right here that is going down, if you saw that shank, is going down into this soil and breaking up that compaction. Um, with a one shank subsoiler, we kind of have to do more passes through the field because we're trying to get that closer uh, shank to shank breakup of the soil. Uh, so we are doing a few more passes, which is ultimately in return, creating a little more compaction because we are going over the field more times than you would if you had like a three to five shank uh, but because we do have a little lighter tractors it kind of counteracts itself it's just a little more time consuming but so how this works is we'll start on the edge as close as we can we'll do a pass down we'll flip around and we'll come right back down and then we'll do that all the way across the field until we get to the other end and that's complete so this is subsoiling in a nutshell. Every field's a little different. Really, really sandy soils. You probably don't have to do as much subsoiling because there is a lot of uh, filtration and drainage already because the soil is so loose. So more videos of subsoiling to come, some in action shots, if you will, so you have a better idea of how it works. If you like this video, please hit the like button below subscribe to our channel if you want to see more about what Bardwell Farm is doing on a daily weekly basis and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below send us an email shoot us a text leave them in the comment section and we'll get back to you as soon as you can as soon as we can you have a good day